solar system. It's only the third object ever confirmed to come from outside of our solar system. Something just breached our solar system and no one knows what it is. Scientists are stunned. Governments silent. NASA's latest discovery has the entire space community on edge. An enormous, unidentified object has entered our solar system, defying known physics and sparking whispers of cover-ups, contact, and something far bigger than we've ever faced. Whatever this is, we weren't prepared for it. 1. Unexplained anomalies near Earth and the Sun In recent years, NASA and independent astronomers have detected something strange. Objects behaving in ways no known human technology can replicate. I mean, these aren't just sensor blips or camera glitches. We're talking about massive, structured, eerily silent things drifting, no maneuvering, through space like they've got a purpose. One of the most talked about events happened on July 23, 2020, when NASA's Solar and Heliospheric Observatory, SOHO, captured something big. A dark, aircraft-like object near the sun moving across the solar surface. Not just floating along, but changing direction. That's the kind of thing that throws solar physicists off balance. Against solar winds and gravitational pull, this object defied expectations by shifting its course mid-flight. To the average viewer, it may simply appear as static or digital noise. But here's the thing. Experts pointed out it cast a shadow and disturbed the surrounding plasma. That's not your average lens flare, and it's not a one-off either. If you go digging through records from the 1950s and 60s, long before Photoshop existed, you'll find similar cigar-shaped structures hovering near the sun. They come and go within seconds, zipping around, pulling abrupt turns and accelerations that break the rules of physics as we know them. Some say these might be top-secret experimental aircraft, maybe even international black projects. But a growing number of researchers think otherwise. The shape, the speed, the way they move, it doesn't match anything with known propulsion systems. There's a theory picking up steam, one whispered by former NASA insiders. These could be extraterrestrial probes. Not from Earth, but from somewhere out there. Devices left to monitor our star, or maybe even us. Silent watchers gathering data for decades. Creepy, right? And here's a wild one. Some believe these anomalies connect to ancient solar monitoring tech left behind by lost civilizations. Others suggest they're part of an interstellar GPS using the sun's magnetic field to navigate. But whoever or whatever they are, one thing's clear. This isn't random space junk. These objects are precise, they're deliberate, and most importantly, they're watching. And if they're watching, then the real question is, who sent them? Let's rewind to the time when humans first ventured beyond Earth and came face to face with something just as mysterious, the Apollo missions. 2. Apollo missions and astronaut UFO encounters. When humanity first reached beyond Earth, we expected silence and solitude. But here's the thing. What NASA's astronauts reported from space painted a very different picture. Some of the most credible, highly trained men on Earth came back with stories that sounded like science fiction. Until you start looking at the evidence. Take the Apollo 11 UFO encounter, for example. During that historic mission, Neil Armstrong and his team witnessed something that still stirs debate to this day. They reported a cigar-shaped UFO, fast-moving and eerily silent, trailing them on part of their journey to the moon. This wasn't your average piece of space junk. It changed direction mid-flight like it was watching them. Armstrong, a man known for his caution and professionalism, didn't make any wild claims, but he did confirm. Something was there, and it wasn't from Earth. You'd think that was the end of it, but nope. Apollo 12 and 13 took things even further. As those crafts made their way toward the moon, astronauts encountered disc-shaped UFOs, some reportedly hundreds of feet wide. A declassified NASA UFO photo even shows a dark, symmetrical object hovering in space, way too clean to be glare or dust. Astronauts also described cylindrical flying objects, glowing faintly as they drifted past their windows. And these weren't quick flashes. Some sightings lasted minutes. Then there's the Landsberg Crater alien structures, arguably one of the most controversial claims in lunar history. As astronauts flew over the crater, 
they described what looked like artificial towers, domes, and geometric forms. Nothing like natural rock. And the grainy real-time footage showed symmetrical shadows that defied natural explanation. But what came next? That's where things got weird. A massive object, previously invisible, suddenly zipped past the lunar lander at insane speed. This wasn't just a sighting, it was caught on film, and the object left behind a perfect arc across the frame. Experts still can't explain it. No visible propulsion, no warning. Just a clean trajectory, as if it were defying gravity. Now all this wasn't shared with the public right away. Much of it only came out decades later, through declassified NASA transcripts, interviews, and insiders like Robert Dean, a former military intelligence officer. He claimed the U.S. government had long known the moon wasn't as dead or empty as we were told. So why hasn't NASA fully acknowledged these UFO sightings during the Apollo missions? Some say it's about avoiding global panic or keeping control of a truth too disruptive to release. Others think these objects are part of a larger, long-term extraterrestrial observation, not from enemy nations, but possibly from ancient alien civilizations. Now to be clear, no Apollo astronaut ever came out and said, we saw aliens, but many of them hinted cryptically that what they witnessed couldn't be explained. And when you line up those hints with mission logs, strange recordings, and off-the-record interviews, a very real pattern starts to form. I mean, whatever was up there during the Apollo missions didn't just leave us wondering, it left behind a legacy of cosmic mystery. And if we were being observed back then, Who's to say they're not still watching now? The 1961 UFO incident that almost started World War III. In the height of the Cold War, when every radar blip could mean nuclear annihilation, one eerie incident nearly triggered World War III. And no, this wasn't some missile test or rogue aircraft. I mean, what happened on February 2nd, 1961, still haunts military insiders to this day especially those familiar with real UFO encounters during high-tension moments. It all began when both NATO and the Soviet Union radars lit up simultaneously. They were tracking a strange fleet of unidentified flying objects coming straight from Warsaw-packed airspace. At first, both sides assumed it was a deliberate enemy move. With nuclear war literally one misstep away, everyone scrambled. We're talking full red alert. But here's the thing. These weren't jets. They weren't rockets either. These things flew in perfect formation with speeds that shattered expectations and likely physics. We're talking hypersonic UFOs, silently gliding toward the west. Then in a blink, they were gone, vanished over the Norwegian sea. No explosions, no radio chatter, not even a piece of metal left behind. Military documents would later show that fighter jets were scrambled, but they couldn't keep up. Witnesses said the craft accelerated from zero to unimaginable speeds in mere seconds, making impossible sharp angle turns that no human pilot could survive. Safe to say, this wasn't some Cold War spy plane. According to retired U.S. Army Command Sergeant Major Robert Dean, who later blew the whistle on this event during his NATO years, the conclusion from the classified investigation was jaw-dropping. Earth, he claimed, is being watched by multiple extraterrestrial civilizations. Not one, but at least four distinct alien factions, each with their own tech and advanced spacecraft. And get this, the report said clearly, if these beings wanted to conquer us, they could have done it a long time ago. One general reportedly said, they could have subjugated us long ago. That one line stuck with Dean. It wasn't about fear, it was straight up awe. What truly makes this Cold War UFO incident stand out is the scale and the danger. This was an age where one wrong move meant the end of the world. And yet somehow this massive intrusion ended with nothing. No retaliation, no response, just stunned silence. Some believe it was a cosmic warning, a show of power meant to say, we're here, don't mess things up. Others think it was simply a routine alien surveillance mission just poorly timed. But the fact that two global superpowers, America and the USSR, both saw something so advanced that they chose not to engage tells you everything. It shook them. They didn't understand it, so they backed off. To this day, the 1961 Norwegian sea UFO disappearance 
remains one of the most mysterious incidents in military UFO history. No satellite footage, no black box recordings, no radar logs that make sense, and no country has ever taken credit. So, what exactly flew over Europe that day? And are they still out there, quietly watching? Coming up next, we take a closer look at one of the most mysterious UFO shapes ever reported. The cigar-shaped alien crafts that have been sighted worldwide for decades. 4. Cigar-shaped UFOs. A cosmic mystery. Among the numerous UFO sightings reported all across the world, one shape seems to be repeated ad nauseum. It is that long, cylindrical, metallic object, often described as a classic cigar-shaped UFO. And these are not just random sightings. From Apollo astronauts to Russian cosmonauts and even commercial pilots, reports have emerged of elongated objects drifting silently or streaking across the sky. These aren't quick blips either. Many witnesses describe these crafts hovering, making rapid direction changes or simply vanishing, leaving no trace behind. Their behavior and structure just don't align with current aviation. Smooth metal hulls, zero engines or wings, and zero propulsion, yet moving at what witnesses estimated as hypersonic speeds, pulling 90-degree turns, and disappearing into thin air as if slipping through dimensions. And here's the thing. It's not just Earth's atmosphere. NASA footage has reportedly captured cigar-shaped objects near the International Space Station, and older archival clips show similar shapes drifting near the sun and moon, loitering far longer than any natural debris would. Amateur astronomers have even filmed long cylindrical shadows cutting across clouds, way too fast for planes and too straight for weather balloons. So what are they? One widely discussed theory is that these crafts are extraterrestrial motherships, massive silent vessels launching smaller scout probes. Others argue they're interstellar drones, programmed for silent surveillance of evolving civilizations. No contact, just observation. But you might be thinking, could this be something else? Some physicists propose a more radical idea, interdimensional travel. These crafts might phase in and out of our reality, explaining the sudden disappearances and impossible maneuvers. It's mind-bending, sure, but it aligns with many of the most compelling alien probe theories, including speculation that Oumuamua, the elongated interstellar object detected in 2017, was itself a cigar-shaped spacecraft. Whatever they are, Cigar-shaped UFOs remain among the most consistent and least understood phenomena in our skies. And here's the kicker. The more we look, the more they show up. Hovering, waiting, watching. Next, we turn our eyes to something even stranger. When science may have accidentally torn open reality itself, the Large Hadron Collider's mysterious portal incident. 5. The Large Hadron Collider's portal incident. Few machines incite fear or curiosity in the realm of physics. The Large Hadron Collider, the machine to find dark matter, alternate dimensions, or mini black holes. But back in 2016, near CERN, something happened that scared people. Witnesses spoke of a glowing rift opening up in the sky, as if someone had torn a hole in reality itself. People living near the LHC in Switzerland described a brilliant circular light hovering above the facility during one of its most intense high-energy collisions. But here's the thing. It didn't just light up the sky, it warped it. Some called it a vortex. Others said it looked like a rift in space-time. Then came the orbs. Two strange orb-like objects slowly emerged from the tear. These weren't falling stars or military drones. They hovered, circled each other, then shot off at speeds that just didn't make sense. Like shovered. Out of a UFO sighting reel. Soon after amateur videos began popping up online, some critics screamed CGI, sure, but many locals backed the sightings. They said this wasn't the first time strange lights had appeared after a collider test. And here's where it gets wild. The incident lined up exactly with one of CERN's most powerful experiments, particles smashing at near light speed. That's when the portal theory blew up online. Some physicists floated the idea that the LHC might have briefly opened a dimensional gateway, a microscopic tear in the fabric of space. And while that sounds like science fiction, it's a part of what CERN was built to explore. So yeah, it's not that far-fetched. But others think these orbs weren't made by the collider. They were drawn to it. Maybe, just maybe, 
extraterrestrials are monitoring humanity's quantum experiments. And when we get too close to unlocking secrets of the universe, like time travel or multiverse access, they show up. Some even believe the orbs were trying to stabilize the rift before it spiraled out of control. CERN denied everything, of course. No unusual readings. No interdimensional events. But those videos, the eyewitness accounts, and the timing, it all felt too perfect to ignore. And to this day, the CERN portal incident remains one of the most controversial moments in modern science. So as we push deeper into quantum physics and bend the laws of nature, we have to ask, are we alone in the lab anymore? Or is something or someone watching us from beyond the veil? Six, what does this mean for humanity? We've looked to the stars for centuries, but what if the stars have been watching us all along? With mounting evidence of advanced craft and unexplained phenomena, the question isn't whether we're alone, but what that means for our future. If these objects are truly extraterrestrial in origin, the potential for a technological revolution is staggering. Imagine reverse engineering their propulsion systems, traveling across the solar system in hours instead of years, harnessing clean, unlimited energy from unknown sources, or using gravitational fields for navigation. The tools of the future may already be hovering quietly above us, but beyond the tech lies something deeper, the implications of contact. Are these beings peaceful observers, monitoring our evolution like cosmic scientists? Or are they preparing for something more? Some theorists argue they're already communicating subtly through sightings, symbolism, and advanced manipulation of matter. Others warn we may not even be able to comprehend their motives. Observer, ally, or threat? The answer may be all three. And what about NASA's role? The agency has always walked a fine line between public transparency and national security. While their tone has shifted slightly in recent years, with more acknowledgement of unidentified aerial phenomena, many believe the real data remains buried. Is disclosure finally coming, or are we still decades away from the truth? These aren't just sci-fi fantasies anymore. As science advances and public pressure grows, we may be approaching a tipping point, a moment where denial is no longer an option, and full transparency becomes inevitable. Whether we're ready or not, a new chapter of human history is about to begin. From strange crafts near the sun to hidden structures on the moon, the signs are everywhere. Something massive is unfolding above us. If this fascinated you, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more mind-opening stories. And let us know in the comments, do you believe contact is coming?